Hey everybody. We're going to be demonstrating uh, an over unity device. Uh, and the, the intentions of this is to just to show over unity measurements. And that is it. <laughs> we're not showing anything spectacular. We're not we're not going to be powering a 100 watt light bulb with a AAA battery or anything like that but uh so you can see everything here and what I have here is hidden am I hiding something yes I'm hiding something this is proprietary for right now hopefully I can open source that later but right now it's not an option for me uh, we have everything here clearly seen uh, so we have volts here and it's just showing the voltage. This is our input uh, power source. Here is a uh, reading amperage coming out of the power source on the positive side and then going through our switch. It's our makeshift shift switch. Going into the positive of our input and the negative going back. And this is showing output voltage. Now, what I want to say here is, well, this is an uh, amperage. Uh, on the output. This is actually made up of two loads. Okay, and, and the loads are part of the circuitry. So there, there's no way I'm going to be able to show the circuitry because the loads are the circuitry. Um, now, since there's two of them, it's the only way I was able to show this um, is by having those two loads in there like that. And so this is the first load, the negative and the positive. And there's the second load, the negative and the positive. All right, so we're gonna be connecting, they're gonna be connected in parallel, meaning negative to negative and positive to positive with the meter in between the two positives. So uh, I, I would, think that this is like something that Ed, Edwin Gray had described at one point about splitting the positive inside here it's splitting the positive so uh, with that said I got the two positives here running through the meter right here and I'm going to connect the two negatives together but for those of you who think there's batteries in this thing well there's not and I could show that easily here. Here I'm reading the, the voltage across the negative of the first load and the positive on the first load as well, right here. So it's, uh, you know, that's the, you can do it on the other load as well, and they'll give you a voltage too. As you can see, it's 632 millivolts. And uh, these, this voltage has the characteristic of uh, a capacitor. There's, this was a battery. Uh, the voltage would obviously be too low to do anything. Um, so, there's no batteries in this. It's just circuitry. Alright, so what we're going to do is connect the two negatives together in parallel. There are all sorts of gnats out here. It's horrible. Okay, now the two negatives are connected. Turn it on, and we're gonna show you the over unity measurements. So, and the battery's at 12.18 volts. Turning it on. Look at that amperage. It's over four and a half amps at 11.8. 40 volts and this is about 700 milliamps or 0.700 amps at about 11.86 volts now I intentionally made the voltage output lower than the input voltage in order to show and prove that there is absolutely nothing on the output that can go back to the input. 
because if the voltage on the output is lower than the voltage on the input, there's no possible way current can flow backwards into the uh, and load down the power source with current. So there, there is no current going back from the output to the input because the voltage is lower than the input. The output voltage is lower than the input voltage. So there's no possible way for uh, the output current to go back to the input power supply here. So here we got 11.87 volts. You can see everything clearly, except for the circuitry of course. I'm not at liberty to uh, say what that is right now. It's 664 milliamps of current. 4.41 it's dropping because uh, I may not be able to show this ever again with this circuitry because it's on the fritz of a of a dying it's it's fried I think yeah, it's burnt up I shouldn't be running 50 watts or more through the circuitry but I am uh, another thing I would like to uh, explain is there's two modules in here and, and as I said earlier those modules are two systems, which are two loads. And if you're holding the first system by hand, it's perfectly cool to the touch. There's a absolutely, uh, it's right at room temperature and maybe a slightly warmer than room temperature. Uh, however, on the other hand, the other load, the second system, completely scalding hot so hot you can't handle it by hand and in fact it feels like you're holding a 50 if there is such a thing as a 50 watt light bulb or a 60 watt light bulb if you ever change out a light bulb while it's on it's it, it, it burns you and you can't hold it for like more than a second well that's about how hot this gets and it corresponds exactly with the amperage and the and the wattage flowing in this uh, secondary system here, it's about 55 watts. And you can measure that out yourself. Uh, you just take your 4.3 amps and multiply it by your 11.42, and you'll get right around 50 watts. And over here, this is right around 8 watts flowing into the system at about 641 milliamps there at 11.88. Uh, I've switched these meters around. All my meters work. There's nothing wrong with them. I get the exact same result. There's no strange, weird AC voltages or uh, spikes messing up the meter readings. This is pure DC going in and coming back out. So there it is. I'm gonna try to attempt to uh, record this maybe uh, with a with my eye, all-seeing eye, as I call it. So this is everything right here. All four meters showing voltage and current on the input, voltage and current on the output. In other words, wattage and power going in, wattage and power coming out. We got more power coming out than what's going in. Let's look at it one last time. Four amps. Wow, that's amazing. 11.43 volts 11.88 volts on the input and about 631 point 630 amps on the input much smaller current obviously much less power on the input than the output all right so um, uh, I hope you like this video. Um, this is what you see is what you get. This is what it is. There's, there's no batteries in here. And if I turn it off, turn it off, watch what happens to the voltage. It drops immediately. If that was a battery, it wouldn't drop like that and it just wouldn't be able to power anything really. And look at this, it's still current flowing. All over here, the current's already shut off. 
the voltage is going back up in the battery power supply still have current on the output as you can see the capacitor there's dropping so that's just the capacitors inside the circuitry so uh, if, if you like this video please like it uh, share it if you can and I mean with Hurricane Harvey and everything uh, we, we need something different uh, as a fuel supply for our uh, our needs so um, please subscribe to the channel if you're new and uh, I'll see you on the next video